Welcome back, everyone. I am Error, and we're going to dive in on part four of The Witness. So we just finished the Shady Trees section, and we're going to run across this meadow, and we're going to find the jungle area next. Uh, and again, this is one of the areas that doesn't really require you to learn any new, um, I guess, forms of communication in this game. Um, in, in terms of symbols and, you know, ways to solve puzzles. Um, however, this is going to be another one that sort of relies on environmental cues. Uh, and this is going to do it in a way that we haven't experienced yet. Um, this is going to be all about sound. So make sure you have your volume up. And I just realized... Uh, I was hoping, it's kind of funny, going back a couple videos, I was really hoping that that desert palace uh, was going to bounce off of something. And that's not the case. It's going straight out to sea. So we're probably going to have to go back there and fiddle around with that a little bit. But um, this is the jungle area. And let's see. Not 100% sure where to start. You're going to hear birds chirping. Uh, <laughs> it took me a long time to figure this out the first time I was here. The birds chirping are how you're going to solve most of these puzzles. And that sounds really weird. Um, but you're going to have to interpret the pitch of the birds uh, into the line puzzles. So anyway, if we can find the first puzzle, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, maybe this is it. Here it is. Okay. So as you can see, they're not actual birds. They're speakers. But either way. So you can hear that pitch. High, low. High, low. Sounds like high, high, low, mid. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mid, mid, high, mid, low. Get some interference in the sound every once in a while. There we go. So I think on this one we're actually listening to the thing that's interfering. Yeah. So not the little chirps, but the long sustained one is how we get our pattern on that one. I feel like I've already tried this, but maybe... No, I think I only tried the opposite. Let me try that. Oh, good. Okay. Again, it's the longer sustained one. And I can tell on those because the little short cheeps uh, are 
closer together. You're, I mean, you're trying to emulate a sound wave here. So when you have the longer one there at the end, that's, I think, what it's getting at. All right, so that goes through there. So I think we've got to go around. I already solved these puzzles. Remember these ones up here being kind of challenging. Maybe I have to go around here. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe there's a panel on the other side or something. I'm gonna try to run around the opposite side. This could be a complete wild goose chase, but that's kind of what this game is all about. So these red dots now represent pitch. So the little ones are high pitch, big ones are low pitch. think that's the solution. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's the solution. Okay. mid, low, mid. It's not that up, down, up, down, mid pattern. It's the other one that plays very quickly behind it. So that was a thing. <laughs> All right. So now we got this pink cable that lit up. Is that going to take us to our beacon? Maybe it's this way. This seems right. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, look at this. We got our beacon. Okay. How very cool. And there's our jungle achievement.
I'm going to wait for our laser to align. I think this one's pretty quick because I think it's pretty much pointing right at it. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it has to turn a little bit. Or a lot bit. Where is this thing going? Oh, I see. It's looking at the wrong end, I think. Okay, and there it goes. Right up to the top of the mountain. Very good. Well, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, a subscribe, and a share, and I'll see you next time.